Alright guys, it's uh, Brian here with Top Notch. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to do an interview. Uh, I'm going to interview DK from Mighty Lawns. If you haven't checked out his channel, you need to. It's a very, very good channel. He's got a lot of good information on there. And uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because, uh, you know, we spend a lot of time on YouTube. We spend a lot of time watching each other's videos, lawn care videos. And uh, I think it's I think it would be a good thing to get to know everybody a little bit better. So. DK, I'm very excited to uh, interview you today. I'm very happy that you decided to do this with me. And uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, what's going on, Brian? Your host, Mighty Lawns TV, DK. First of all, I want to thank Brian from Top Notch Lawns for allowing me to take part on his channel. So, first question is, uh, if I was talking to your best friend, DK, what would he say about you? Who is DK from Mighty Lawns? I would think that my best friend would say that I'm a hard worker. I'm somebody who pushes the envelope all the time and I strive for the best for my family as well as myself. And any business endeavor that I've ever had, I always push it to the max. And, 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 and that's just me. You know, even when I put my team together this year, uh, I put a team together that would be able to take my vision and run with it and the way that I see things, they can pretty much just do it without any problem. Yeah, you know, DK, I've uh, I, I know this from watching your uh, your videos. Uh, you got a very very good passion for uh, for lawn care, and uh, you do have a voice that everybody needs to hear. So, uh, thank you. All right, so uh, DK, what's coming up next for uh, Mighty Lawns in 2015? We got some big things coming up next year. Uh, you know. In 2014, you looked at we had about 40 to 50 clients. Next year, we want to double that. I want to get, hit, of course, hit the 100 mark, but I want to start getting to 100 to, to 200 clientele, which means, of course, two crews, right? Because even this year, in 2020, I found myself with a lot of the work that we had to do, we needed about two crews. So that's big things next year. Of course, you know, we retired the van, so we won't use the van next year. And uh, we got some big things. You, you, with your video, you're kind of creeping into the video that I was going to put out next year, but that, but that's fine. I don't mind doing that. Um, of course, you know, we're going to be purchasing a big box truck, and that's going to be key so it can hold all my equipment and things of that nature. So we're going to do some big things next year, and of course, all of you out there, all of our fans, our subbers, are going to be the first ones to see it, so stay tuned for that big box truck reveal, all right? All right, DK, uh, well, I for one cannot wait to see this box truck, so who has had the biggest influence on you in your life? Wow, the biggest influence on my life, so many people, so many people, uh, First, of course, I gotta say God. You know, no, without His influence, uh, my 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 wife, my kids, um, and my surroundings. You know, I'm originally from Texas. Texas had a lot to do with my makeup and how I am and how I strive and, like I said before, to push the envelope. So it had a had a, a large influence on me on how I always strive to be the best and in my work, always striving. For excellence and nothing below excellence. Uh, very cool, DK. Uh, I know just from uh, just from talking to you, man. You're a big family man, and uh, I really respect that. All right, DK. If you could spend one week anywhere in the world, where would it be? I would want to go to New York. I would want to see that hustle and bustle and how they, you know, how they operate. You know, how they get down as a big city. You know, a lot of times, character. When we look at you know, our how it flows, we always look to the biggest city, the big apple, New York. So I kind of want to get into that and just see how these big companies work, uh, how people just work in general. Like that And spending that time one week, well, I would go see Yankee Stadium. Everybody knows I'm a big Yankees fan. I would want to see Yankee Stadium. I would want to see where the polo grounds used to be. Uh, just, di just different areas that I would want to go uh, visit. You know, of course, go to Times Square. Uh, stay at the stay at Trump Towers. Uh, everything, man. And even if I could do it, and man, be a part of that. So New York would be the place that I would love to go. But work first, play later. All 
All right, DK, uh, why did you start making YouTube videos? I started making YouTube videos because I wanted people to see my journey, my, pro my progression, you know, basically where I started. I wanted them to be able to see, hey, this man faith and took his business to new heights. You know, I want people to see the progression where this guy started out with a van, and then next year he's going to have his box truck. Next year, here's more commercial properties. Things of that nature. So, it's going to be big. It's, it's, words can't describe how I'm feeling right now. All I can say is, very big. Everybody's got to stay tuned. It's going to be very big. Very, very big. And so, I'm hoping that more people can learn from my videos that I put on YouTube because I show you how to make money. I show you your just I, I just show you a lot of stuff on my channel you know and I want you to see step by step step by step what you need to be successful uh, if you could give a new business owner one tip what would it be I would say that's your self-worth you have to know your self-worth before you can even go out and even get exposure you know understanding your your target market that's the only way you're going to be able to make money, make a profit. Like you always hear me talk about the bottom line. So know your target market, okay? That will be my, my biggest tip because you can go out there if you like to use flyers or what have you. You can go out there and, and knock on a thousand doors and not get one customer. Understand your target mar market, the demographics, before you even start your business. That's very, very good advice, DK. Uh, I myself, uh, I kind of struggle with that a little bit. You know, I, I don't want to come off overpriced and uh, sometimes I end up uh, hurting myself doing that so that's definitely something I need to work on. Alright DK lastly what's your favorite YouTube channel and why? Wow this is another one you kind of touched on me too Brian because this was a new show that I was coming out with and, and, and it's cool because I wanted to kind of list all my favorite uh, channels that I like to look at. Uh, one channel of course Top Notch Lines. I, I like to look at your channel because you're a family man you involve your family and it shows even in your business practices, you and your crew get along, and, and that's very key. And you get to, sh you know, you're showing us your growth. And I like that. Another channel, of course, is Self the Lawn Surgeon. I can name so many that I like to look at. I like to look at Zach's Lawn Service um, from our car channel. I like to look at Moto Moto Me. I like to look at Cereal Marshmallows. It's just so much. I don't want to take up too much of your time, Brian, but it, I have a lot of channels that I just love to look at. I really do. Thank you for giving me this opportunity where I could speak, shed some light, and we'll see you next year on Mighty Lawns TV. All right, guys. Uh, thank you, DK over there, Mighty Lawns. Thank you very, very much for doing this interview for me. Uh, this is the first interview I've ever done, so uh, guys, bear with me. I promise it'll probably, it will get better. And uh, if you haven't checked out my launch channel, you need to do that. The guy is uh, very knowledgeable about the business. Uh, he's grown his business from uh, Astro Van now to uh, Box Truck. We'll see that in an upcoming video. And uh, very good family man, very good guy. I appreciate you taking the time out, DK, to do this for me. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Next up, I have uh, Keith Kelfus from the Landscaping Employees Trap. This guy is, uh, is, is incredible, a very good motivator. Uh, every time I watch one of his videos, I leave going just, wow, wow, just a wealth of knowledge. And uh, anyway, I got him coming on next, so uh, stay tuned for that. And I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, have a good one.